New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Today we're going to be talking about two different backpacks sold specifically from Harbor Freight. One is going to be the Bauer brand and one will be the Hercules brand. If you're not familiar with the Hercules and Bauer brands at Harbor Freight, they're kind of their top tier brands. Typically the Bauer is considered a pro-consumer grade and the Hercules is considered more professional. I really envy the people that design tool bags. Tool bags are very difficult to design because they have to take the abuse of a professional person who's going to be throwing very heavy tools in and out of the bag all day, but yet they have to be made light enough so that the bag itself doesn't weigh a ton. And I think the Bauer bag has achieved just that. They have a very good balance going on here where the bag isn't exactly incredibly heavy, but it is rugged enough that it's gonna take a beating. The bag is advertised to have 23 pockets and this thing does have a lot of little pockets jammed all over it. If you take a look inside, there is a compartment for just about every tool that you would possibly need. The bag itself is made of a tear resistant fabric. Now the outside of the bag is pretty firm and stiff, but the pockets inside are not as stiff and that was by design. They wanted to make this bag lightweight. By the time you load it down with your tools, the bag is heavy enough. So if they overkilled all these little pockets with very thick material, then the bag would just be that much more heavier. So instead they chose a tear resistant fabric that's gonna hold up really well. There are some little features that I do like about the bag. It has a specific spot for your water bottle. And on the other side, it has a metal clasp that is made to put a tape measure on. The bottom of the bag is made out of a kind of a rubber tub. It's quite nice because if you were to sit this bag in a puddle of water, the plastic comes all the way up to here, you're not gonna get your tools wet. Not only are the straps padded, but the back of the bag itself has padding on it as well. It's gonna make this bag very comfortable to wear. Behind the tool compartment is another very large pocket. It is designed to put a laptop in. The advertisement says you can fit up to a 16 inch laptop back here and it would be relatively protected because there's a hard card that separates that laptop and the tool compartment. Then there's another compartment behind the laptop compartment that maybe you could stick some documentation in or maybe even an iPad. The Bauer is a great overall bag to have, but if you want the king daddy of all backpacks, take a look at the Hercules bag. It is built phenomenally well and there's all kinds of pockets and features that this backpack has that has really impressed me. The Hercules bag is a little bit heavier, but that is because it is overbuilt in every way. This bag features 51 pockets so you can be well organized. And if you notice, it kind of has an open cavity up here and that's so you can drop in the tools that you use frequently so you don't have to open the bag and get to them. So if you have a drill, you can drop it right in the front. Just like the Bauer, it has a metal clip on the side so you can hang your tape measure and it features an expandable pocket on the side to hold a water bottle or whatever you would like. This front pocket has a traditional Molly style webbing so you can hang all kinds of things that you need from the outside of this pocket. There is a card in the face of this pocket making it fairly impact resistant. So if you had some things in here that were a little more sensitive, maybe a multimeter or something, it would protect them somewhat. The upper pocket on the backpack also has a card inside so it will protect whatever you put behind it as well. There's three individual pockets here, but inside is where the fun begins. This bag is packed full of so many pockets. It's just quite amazing. There's these netted pockets in the front, which make it easy to find things. The Bauer has one pocket like that. This particular model has two, but to make things even more interesting, there is a caddy that you can pull out that is located inside this bag. This caddy has 14 pockets on the front and the back. It's on a hard card and it has a hook so you can hang it somewhere. I could see this being extremely extremely useful for the tools that you use most. With the tool caddy out of our way, you can take a look on the back side of this bag and see even more pockets. And just like the Bauer bag, the back of the bag is padded and the straps are also padded as well. Hidden inside the top of the bag is a metal hook. That way if you want to hang the bag up somewhere and you don't want to support it by its handle, you can do that. Speaking of handles, the handle on the top of the bag is padded, so it's very easy to carry a lot of weight and not hurt your hands. And then there's a sneak peek at some of the over-engineering that went into this bag. You can see a metal cable that's encapsulated in a heavy rubber. That way when you pick up the bag, all of the weight is being bared on that particular wire and not the nylon straps itself. And like the Bauer, the Hercules also has a heavy rubber bottom tub that it sits in. The Hercules is a little more robust, it's a little thicker, and it's about three and a half inches tall. So what are my thoughts about these two bags? Well, I think they're very good bags and I think they're at a very good price point. I do think they both have their own purposes in this world. And I think the Bauer bag would be great for maybe a consultant, maybe somebody that's on the road, they need some extra tools, they carry their laptop with them, maybe a camera installer or a server rack guy that installs a lot of equipment in a server rack. This would be great. It has a place for his laptop, other hardware. You could put a drill in it. You could put all of your tools. The bag isn't incredibly heavy because it doesn't have to be. But somebody with a lot more 
tools that's on the road a lot, this Hercules bag would be awesome. It's going to carry a lot of weight. The bag is a little bit heavier, but you can see why. Having that card that pulls out in the center is fantastic. If you had tools that you needed to get to quickly, that's where I would place them. And having all of this capacity in the front to grab some quick tools is very nice too. But overall, both bags are built very well, and I'm excited to see Harbor Freight selling these bags. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.